Time to do a small example of porous media. Uh, we have already defined the tortuosity and the porosity and the apparent velocity and the actual velocity, the real or effective velocity. Uh, so let's do this example. Uh, it's a porous media uh, where 35% of the area is covered by holes and the channels are S-shaped like this. So they have a bend with the uh, radius R and the thickness of the material is from this point here, down here. So uh, it's a quarter circle uh, bend and then there's another quarter circle in the other direction. Uh, so this means that uh, the effective length is pi r, since it's a half circle altogether. And we use, can use Pythagoras theorem to calculate the thickness of the material uh, because uh, we have a triangle here uh, with r as one side, r as the other side, and then l divided by 2 as uh, half of the thickness of the material. So we get the thickness of the material as l equals 2 times the square root of 2r. So we can calculate the tortuosity, which is the effective length divided with the thickness of the material. So that is pi r uh, divided by 2 uh, square root of 2r and that gives us 1.11. Uh, then we can put uh, calculated porosity, which is the volume of the flow channels divided with the total volume. Uh, that is the same as the length of um, the effective length of the channels times the area of the flow channels. And the total volume is the, the thickness of the material times the total area. Now, Le divided by L, that uh, is uh, the tortuosity, right? Pr2 divided by uh, 2 times the square root of 2r. And uh, the sum of the area of the flow channels divided by with the uh, total area, that's actually 0 0.35, since 35% of the area is covered by holes. And we get a porosity of 0 0.389, or 38.9%. So the effective velocity in the channels, that's the tor tortuosity divided with the porosity times the apparent velocity. And the apparent velocity was 10 centimeters per second. So we got 1.11 divided by 0 0.389 times 10, and we get 28.6 centimeters per second.